Good morning, my denture wearing friends. It is Kyle, and I am very excited to be bringing y'all part one in my series on how dentures impact each one of the five areas that are essential to our well-being. Um, so what will I be talking about in today's video? Well, we'll be talking about what is arguably the most important area of our well-being, and that uh, is what we spend time doing every day, or our career well-being. Now, this career well-being can be um, related to a traditional career where you actually wake up in the morning, hop in your car, and go to a brick and mortar uh, building and spend eight to ten hours there uh, doing what you do. Uh, it can also be a traditional career like uh, staying at home uh, and raising children and um, taking care of a family. Or it can be uh, things uh, such as volunteer work, uh, things, um, basically anything that you are spending the majority of your time doing on a daily basis would be your career well-being. Now, this aspect of our well-being severely impacts all of the other uh, well-being areas uh, in our life. And we will get into that in this video and, more importantly, exactly how your decision to get dentures has already kick-started your uh, well-being improvement in the area of your career. All right, folks, let me start out by asking you all a very quick question. Are you passionate, engaged, and excited to be doing what you spend the majority of your day doing each and every week? Because let me tell you, if you are not, that means that your career well-being isn't on point. That means you have some work to do in order to bring your career well-being to a point that you can feel proud, engaged, and passionate about the things that you are accomplishing on a daily basis. If we don't have that, it is going to bring down the other aspects of our well-being. We need to understand that right off the bat, so please take stock and be honest when you answer this question. When you wake up in the morning, are you, do you feel um, empowered? Do you feel passionate? Do you feel engaged about what you are going to be doing for the next eight to 10 hours? If so, that is fantastic. And I will let you know and I will let you in on a little secret on how dentures can make that fantastic feeling even greater as you can take on more responsibility within the career you are involved. Conversely, if you are not engaged, if you are not passionate, if you do not feel energized by what you are about to embark upon at the beginning of every day, well, we need to seriously uh, take stock in what we are doing and what we would like to be doing uh, beginning as quickly as tomorrow. All right, so I would like to start out by telling you a story related to my career well-being. Uh, why do I tell stories? Well, to me, uh, stories are a way that we can relate experiences uh, to people which uh, when we tell that story and relate it to uh, our experience, it causes people to change a belief. And when you change a belief in any area of your life, uh, what that causes you to, to do is to take an action and that action will produce a result. Uh, that is simply called a results pyramid uh, where our experiences uh, cause uh, 
cause changes in our beliefs. Those beliefs cause us to take action, and those actions produce results. So it's very important that we have the correct uh, experiences to spark the right beliefs so that we take the correct actions to achieve the results that we desire. So here's my story. I have been a restaurant operator in many, many capacities over the past 30 years. I have worked for a wide variety of restaurant concepts. Um, I do enjoy taking care of people. I do enjoy serving people. I do enjoy making people happy, you know, in something as basic as providing them with a a, a safe, well-cooked, tasteful meal. So having said that, was I passionate 100% about what I was doing each and every day? Well, after having done this job for 30 years, uh, I can honestly say most days I went into work and I mailed it in. What do I mean by that? I was on autopilot. You know, the job was easy to me. It's something that I I had mastered long ago. So it was basically going to work, going through the motions, um, watching the clock, uh, hoping that the eight to 10 hour day would go by quickly so that I could um, get into some other aspect of my life that I enjoyed much more than what I was doing the majority of my day. So that was making me mind dead, and that was not helping any other aspect of well-being in my life. So what did I do, and when did I do it? Well, I'm not going to lie. After I had my teeth extracted, after I had my dentures placed, I went on a new job hunt. Why? Well, for a couple of reasons. Well, I wasn't particularly passionate about the brand that I was with and about the food that I was selling. So I was phoning in uh, my performance at work every day, simply relying upon my past experience to uh, maintain the level of success that I had. But I wasn't moving forward because I was not passionate about the job. So when I I, uh, had my teeth extracted and when I uh, began looking for a new home, I put a couple caveats in place for myself. Number one, it needed to be a brand that I was passionate about. No ifs, ands, or buts. Number two, it needed to be a food that I could get behind, a food that I could suggest uh, to the guests that walked through my door, a food that I was proud selling, a food um, that I was proud to be offering to the community at large. Uh, I also wanted to ensure that the new concept, the new brand that I hooked hooked up with had growth potential, meaning that they were in a position uh, to grow the brand. And uh, the fourth thing was that I wanted to be involved with an identity brand that um, somewhat mirrors my identity as a person. Um, My thinking was, if I could hit on all four of those cylinders, that I would be engaged, that I would be able to uh, get the most out of myself and kind of um, have a renewed sense of enthusiasm for the work that I've been doing. So, was I able to find such a brand? Was I able to hook up with a company that I felt passionate about, that I felt engaged uh, with what they were doing, that I was behind the philosophy of this company? Well, yes, I did. And I embarked on that uh, new career in the same industry about three weeks ago. And let me tell you, it makes such a huge difference. Now I wake up with a feeling of, um, of passion for what I'm going to do. I wake up with a feeling of excitement for what I'm going to learn. I wake 
up with a feeling of hopefulness that I will be able to make a difference in somebody's life with this new restaurant concept that I am involved with, uh, that I am involved with um, growing, um, that I am involved with uh, bringing um, this new way of eating to the United States and hopefully to the world. Now, I'm not going to get into the specifics of where I work, but I will uh, let you know why I am so much more passionate about this new brand that I'm with than the previous brands that I've been associated with in my past. Uh, I am very big on physical fitness. I am very big on taking care of our bodies so that we um, can ensure that we get the most out of each and every day because we are physically able to tackle any challenge that pops up because uh, we have uh, treated our body in such a manner that it is going to be there for us when we call upon it. Uh, so in the past, I have been with some restaurant concepts that have not sold uh, the healthiest types of food. I have been associated with restaurant concepts, you know, that have uh, full service bars, uh, something that uh, I can honestly tell you has always been a problem for me to manage. Why is that? Well, I don't know. I don't drink. Um, and I don't judge folks that drink, of course not. Um, have your fun. Everything in moderation, in my opinion, can be okay. Uh, the problem uh, starts when we uh, begin to abuse things. But uh, one of the problems I had managing uh, a bar setting was, hey, I had these regular guests that were coming in five days a week, getting their fade on at the bar, and to me that was very sad. Uh, with the new concept, uh, that I am involved with, um, I will tell you, it is a healthy way of eating. It is a way of eating that, if adopted, it will make huge changes in your energy levels, in um, you know um, your mental prowess, in just your overall um, sense of well-being. Uh, so I have finally hooked up with a restaurant that I am passionate about, that I feel that we can make a difference in the world, and as opposed to uh, feeding people death, we are nourishing folks with life. So that's my story on my career well-being. Um, the reason I was able to make that change, um, dentures, why? They gave me the confidence to go out and sell myself. They gave me the confidence to go out there and seek out a brand that I'm passionate, passionate about, that I feel I can make a difference in. Indentures had everything to do with that. So let's now get into how you can maximize your career well-being now that you have made the decision to improve your um, physical look with dentures. So why is uh, career well-being so essential and how is it impacting the other uh, areas of our well-being? Well, let's take a look at that. So if we are falling short in our career well-being, it's very possible we are falling short in our financial well-being. Because if we are not engaged and giving 100% uh, to what we are doing uh, most on a daily basis, well, you know what? We're probably not performing at a level that merits a, a, a pay increase. And uh, you know what? Uh, we probably shouldn't get that pay increase because we're not passionate about what we're doing. Uh, also, your social well-being is impacted by your career well-being. If, uh, if you are so frustrated by, by your career, hey, when you get home, what are you talking about? How angry, how upset you are about what happened during the day? 
Uh, also, your physical well-being is impacted if your career uh, is not on point. How is that? You're stressed all the time. That is not good for your physical fitness, and uh, you are uh, less likely to go out and exercise because you are just in a funk. And the last thing is how um, not having great career well-being impacts our community uh, well-being. You know what? We're probably not going to volunteer. We are probably not going to get involved with things such as uh, making videos on YouTube for the denture community if we are not happy in the main aspect of our life, which is the career aspect. So, just wanted to throw that in there to show you how important it is that we have a fantastic career well-being going on in our lives.